As young as they are, they have had a hard experience of the wickedness of the world. 80-year-old Felicia Nwafo and her daughter Rejoice Raymond allegedly confined them in separate rooms of the apartment at number 13 Akonwata Mbamalu Street, Federal Housing Estate, Tretre Onicha, where they not only tortured them but denied them food. The children had injuries all over their body. One of them had a broken arm. They were already gasping for the last breath when neighbors who suspected some criminal activities in the yard contacted the police. When you look at the inscription on this uh, wall, they say this woman is a, uh, a pastor. The inscription there says, uh, who can battle with the Lord, with the inscription of Jesus Christ. So I don't know the kind of God she is uh, worshipping. But what I understand is that uh, those children are being used for rituals. It's obvious. The things the police found out here, we saw a lot of shams. Uh, this is one year. This February is going to make it one year I'm living here. I was surprised when I had this information. Even me, I don't know that there is uh, children here in this compound. Because my movement that is before 6 o'clock or 6.15 I have left, come back around 8 o'clock. I never hear children crying or shout like that. I never hear anything. I never hear. I'm very, very surprised and shocked. Their captors could not say what their crime was, why they subjected them to such inhuman treatment. Human rights activists have vowed to follow the matter to its logical conclusion to ensure that Mrs. Felicia Nwafo, her daughter, Mrs. Rejoice Raymond, and any of their accomplices suffer the consequences of their actions. One would never have assumed that something like this would be happening in this particular particular estate called Federal Housing Estate or Nature. This woman was operating under the covers of being a prophetess, whereas she was using or trying to use these children for rituals. I will ensure that the matter is brought to court and they effectively and comprehensively prosecuted. Police say investigations are ongoing to unravel the true identity of the children and the circumstances surrounding their dehumanizing treatment. Meanwhile, the children are recuperating in the hospital where they are receiving treatment. It was good. was bloom. Yes, he told me he said, but since mommy gave me the food, he did not give me. What did I tell you? He carried knife, knocked me. Knife on your head? Yes. Who broke your hand? Who broke your hand? Pastor. Pastor again. Hey, what did you do? In Onicha, Uche Nawekoyo, NTA News.